Hey, uh, what's up guys? It's me again, and today we're back with another unboxing video. This time, with some, you got some, like, two DC figurines right here. And then this door paperweight. And also the Dollar Tree exclusive figures. Like, this is Shift from Final Faction. Yeah. Now, I actually got these around May. I actually got these first, along with uh, this comic, and then also had like a movie as well. But yeah, like, when I went to the Dollar, Dollar Tree the one uh, week around May. But then later on, uh, like next week, I ended up going to buy this. And yeah, that was like the only thing. Because, you know, I've actually read this comic. Uh, I actually got the comic along with these toys first before I ended up getting the toy from this. But yeah, apparently, uh, Final Faction, this was a toy line that uh, is Dollar Tree exclusive. Meaning that they're the ones that created it and, you know, are selling it. And, you know, they're basically like G.I. Joe type figures. Because you can see, like, has that retro uh, styled packaging. That G.I. Joe's would have. But yeah, like, as you can see, look at this. Yeah. Then it shows, like, the origins. Yeah, as you can read that. Yeah, and there's the, all the other characters from Series 1. There's also Series 2 and, and Series 3 of the figures as well. I'm planning to collect more of these just because they look cool, though. Even for, like, Dollar Tree figures... Because most Dollar Tree figures suck, but these are actually pretty good for what they are, even if they're not like, you know, high budget and whatever, still. Yeah, these were created around like 2020, and, you know, 2021, 2022, they're still making them. But yeah, here's the, the comic. Yeah, it shows like the origins of all of them. Looks pretty nice. I've actually read the comic. It's actually pretty great. It does kind of have that retro comic feel. But yeah, since I like the comic, I decided to get a figure of it uh, from their figure waves. I'm planning to get the other characters too. Like especially the ones that are like the most interesting. Including like, as you can see here, there's a character named Steel. He looks just like uh, Falcon from, you know, the MCU version of you know, Falcon played play by Anthony Mackie. But yeah, that's, that's him in the comic right there. Yep. So anyways, yeah, let's get started in opening these, shall we? I think I'm going to start opening this one first. Yeah, I heard, you know, Thor recently came out this month. The new one, Thor Love and Thunder. But yeah... I haven't watched that movie yet, but I'm interested in watching it. I heard a lot of things like some people like it, but some people don't like it. It depends on your point of view. Okay, yeah, here we have it. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah. Got the Marvel logo right there with the, you know... Yeah, the printing. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. They also have other characters. I believe they also have a Spider-Man one, but I haven't seen the Spider-Man one yet to buy it, though. I'll definitely buy a Spider-Man one, though, because, you know, I like Spidey the most of all superheroes. But, yeah. I would like to collect more of these figurines, though, because, you know, they're cool to collect, even if they're something small. But I usually prefer, like, you know, high-quality high figures that are, like, you know... Marvel Legends or DC Multiverse or anything else that's like considered way better uh, and stuff. Especially figures of articulation because a lot of people like figures of articulation. But yeah, I guess we can now get started on these ones. This is going to be harder to open though. Alright, here. Try opening with the finger now. Huh. Hmm. 
Yeah, there you go. Yep. All right. Yeah, that was kind of easy. But yeah, this is definitely right here. You see, this is definitely supposed to be Batman from Batman vs Superman. Even though this packaging says Justice League and this is Armored Batman. Yeah, these are like micro collection figures. They're actually made by Mattel. I'm pretty sure these are old now because, you know, Mattel lost the license since 2021. So wait a minute. Hasbro, they own the license to make these figures, but they lost the license to make, uh, the, you know, the other figures that they make. Um, you know, the Six Sense Marvel Legends figures, or like, no, DC Multiverse figures. Sorry got mixed up but yeah they lost the, the rights to make dc multiverse and they lost the rights to make the basic figures of dc wow damn that's crazy now they only own the rights to make these tiny figures yeah because now mcfarland toys they own uh the rights to dc multiverse i only have one figure from their dc multiverse uh from made by mcfarland toys most of the other ones i have are made by you know mattel I'm still trying to get the you know other figures from their line though of DC Multiverse because it's better to get the modern ones though even though a lot of people don't like them compared to I mean some people like them more than they liked uh, the Mattel figures but some people they you know prefer you know the Mattel figures better but it depends on your view though but anyways let's open this one now shall we Yeah, here we have Cyborg. Yeah, the Justice League Cyborg. I don't think it's supposed to be from the movie. Maybe it could be, but I don't think so. This looks more like a comic version of Cyborg. Yeah, these are just simple figurines just to put on your shelf or, you know, just to decorate. That's it. There's nothing really special about them. But these are cool, though, if you want to just put them... To, you know decorate houses you like your house by putting a shelf with them or you know decorate anything with these figures yeah Dollar Tree has only these kinds of figures they don't really have like high quality figures but yeah they have uh, you know good figures like these these are definitely a little bit much better quality because these have articulation is not that much but you know well the paint job actually does look better compared to these but you know, but let's let's get started on this last figure, shall we? Oops. All right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah. So the reason why though I didn't open these back in May when I first got them. Is because you know I want to do a video on them, and you know, want you guys to see them, and also because I'm trying to take pics before I, you know, open them up to show uh, you know other people what the figures look like. Because usually I like to take pictures of the stuff I buy. I don't like to just you know not take pictures and just you know post them, or like you know just post the videos, or you know don't make videos at all. Oops. Yeah, you know, because I like to make videos of the stuff that I get, or like at least take pictures, if not, you know. Yeah, and at the time I didn't have a phone anymore when I bought them because, you know, my phone got messed up. But I have a new phone right now that I'm using. But anyways, look, here's the figure. Shift. Yeah, you can see, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it focuses, the camera focuses. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it's like 
I mean, you can't really see as much. Oh, now you can see. But yeah, the figure isn't that bad. Looks pretty good. They should have colored the back, though. That's a lot of people have been complaining about. Looks pretty great. And now she comes with these pairs of swords right here. You just plug them to the back. Um, let me see if I can show you. Um, you can see right here, it goes right here in the back peg right here, or like, yeah, a hole. Yeah, there you go, snap it in place. Yeah, so here she is with her swords in her back. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I like it. So yeah, if you're a big fan of G.I. Joe figures or even G.I. Joe type figures, I think you will love these. I myself am not really a big fan of G.I. Joe because, you know, I didn't like, I mean, I did have toys when I was a kid of them, and I did kind of have those kinds of styled figures. Yeah, like the bigger ones and then the small one, small type figures. But I don't know, I just never was really a big fan of G.I. Joe. But I do kind of like the franchise though and the merch that they have sometimes. But I'm not really like a big fan of them. But yes, yes, so you can actually buy like uh, separate packs to actually have more accessories for the figures, believe it or not. I might actually do that. But yeah, these are actually just $1, which $1 for these kinds of figures, they're like G.I. Joe type quality. It's, it's, it's really good. Not that bad. You know there's even a cartoon, uh, like two episodes of like of a cartoon of Final Faction. I watched them. Yeah, they're pretty decent, even though it's like poor CGI, but still, it is what it is. And if they ever did like a live action movie of, of Final Faction, yeah, that would be awesome. I got some ideas for some castings if it were to actually happen, but I don't know. We'll have to see if they were ever would make one, like a movie in live action, though. But if they do, I'll definitely watch it. Hopefully, it'll be like a movie you can actually watch in theaters, not, you know, just an exclusive one that you watch in stores. And honestly, it would be cool if they actually did Marvel Legends type figures, but I don't know if they ever will because Dollar Tree, you know, they don't sell those kinds of figures. They just sell cheap figures. Uh, you know, a dollar. Uh, they would never, you know, sell anything that's like good quality, like Marvel Legends or whatever. But if you want to, you can actually make your own customs. And a lot of people they customize these figures to have different paint jobs and you know better details and everything, which is a good thing too if you want to you know get the figures like that. But anyways, yeah, I'll just do a quick comparison of other figures that are like. You know, almost the same size. All right, just let me set it up. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, here's the figure compared to other figures. They are like similar size. As you can see, yeah, she goes well with them. That's Miles Morales from that one Blu ray of Spider Man 2 Spire Verse, like an exclusive figure that came with it from Walmart. And then this is another exclusive figure that came with a Blu ray, which is the Spider Man Far From Home Blu ray. That's exclusive to Walmart too. And then there's this Venom. That's also, you know, it was like the very first figure, it's stylized of a G.I. Joe figure, you know, with the Blu-ray and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I had to get them because, you know, they're exclusive to Walmart and also because, you know, I like Spider-Man and anything Spider-Man. Another reason why also is because, you know, eventually they're going to become expensive because if you look on eBay now, they just went up in price. Yeah, so that's why I had to get them uh, quickly before they, they end up increasing in price. But yeah, so if you like uh, G.I. Joe type figures, the Final Faction line would definitely be great for you, it's for you guys that like to collect G.I. Joes and anything similar. Yeah, 
pretty decent quality for what it is for one dollar because regular gi joes that are like you know real that are like this small they would be more expensive like i think like 14 dollars or something that's expensive a little bit especially for figures these small it's better if they cost a one dollar but we live in a world where things aren't as cheap anymore except dollar store stuff from like dollar tree but yeah these figures these are also good if you like gi joe type figures and spider-man and all those movies and everything that but it's gonna be hard to find these figures now because these have been ex been you know released a long time ago 2018 and, and 2019 and you know they've gotten expensive too on ebay i luckily bought them before they got too expensive so if you uh happen to see the blu-rays uh with the figures and that you can get it but just know that you had to have a lot of money for them but anyways guys this is just another unboxing video by me unboxing my haul from a while ago of dollar tree related figures and just wanted to show you how, how what i've been bought from months ago so yeah if you're into Dollar Tree stuff, you can uh, pick up some stuff like these if you just want something simple. But if you're like on a budget or whatever, and if, and if you know, you want something that's like, you know, simple and you know, you, you're on a budget or whatever, you can go ahead and buy stuff like this if you're a collector and you like uh, figures stylized as G.I. Joe's or whatever, you can buy them at Dollar Tree because there's a bunch of them there. So anyways, thanks for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.